student leadership meaning elements and values of significance now we have introduction before starting this topic in order to know what leadership is let me highlight some definitions of leadership for your better understanding leadership is a quality of behavior of individuals whereby they guide people or their activities in organizing efforts that was given by chester i bernard again we have leadership is the ability of a superior to induce subordinates to work with confidence and ease that was given by kunz and donnell again we have another definition that is leadership is the process by which an executive imaginatively directs guides and influences the work of others in attaining specified goals that was given by theo hammond in continuation of this leadership may be defined as a position of power held by an individual in a group which provide him with an opportunity to exercise interpersonal influence on the group members for mobilizing and directing their effort towards certain goals the leader is at the center of group's power structure keeps the group together infuses life into it moves it towards its goal and maintains its momentum now we have elements of effective leadership effective leadership is essential for any organization and school to be successful great leaders are always critically analyzing ways in which he or she can improve in order to achieve an area of goals this is especially the case in execution where strong and bold leadership is needed during this tumultuous time looking in general we all have the capacity to lead it is true leadership that we become catalysts for positive change once sustainable change takes hold we will see the fruit of our labor in the form of transform teaching and learning practices amongst learners and in ourselves this cannot happen without effective leadership leadership is a combination of art science and human nature for some it is an innate process for others it involves and is refined over time we all have the ability to lead although many choose not to lead there is also no perfect way to lead as leadership strategies and practices need to adapt to the various dynamic environment in which leaders find themselves school needs individuals to establish a collective visions and put it into action to improve professional practice whether that leadership comes from administrators or teachers or a combination of both schools cannot be successful if this does not happen and the success of our students depends on how well leaders guide the majority to embrace meaningful change so essential elements of leadership that can affect change are highlighted below number 1 modeling the best leaders model their expectation for their employees and peers the best leaders not only talk the talk but they also walk to walk it is not necessary to ask the employees or colleagues do something that we are not prepared to do better yet 
show them what the practice can and should look like in action. Number two, not looking for buy-in. Effective leaders should not have to sell their employees and colleagues on a better way of doing things. Intrinsic motivation is the most powerful force we have to initiate and sustain change. Think about how we can get people to embrace a new idea, strategy or initiative. Number three, providing support. Support comes in many forms, maybe financial, time and professional learning opportunities. The lack of any of this should never be an excuse to not move forward. Support begins with adopting a no excuse attitude and the resilience to always seek out solution to the many problems that arise. Support should also be differentiated as we have come to know with our students a one size fits all approach never works. Number four, learning from failure. Everyone fails, that is life. The key point, however, is that failure is one of the greatest learning tools we have. If leaders are afraid to fail, then nothing will ever change. Leadership is all about risks and rewards. With every risk, there is the potential for failure looming around the corner. Learning from our experiences, including our failures, empowers leaders to be fearless change agents. Admitting when we have felt actually inspires others. Number five, transparency. Leaders' decision and action are not challenged as must if those leaders are transparent. Effective leaders use transparency to assist with the embarrassment of change. This is accomplished through a combination of communication, shared decision-making, consensus debate, and social media. Transparent leaders do not micromanage, give credit to others when initiative succeed and take the blame things fail. Number six, we have flexibility. Stubbornness and rigidity are clear indicators of a top-down approach to leadership. This almost always builds resentment and animosity towards change. Leaders who are flexible listen to their points of view ban when necessary and are not afraid to change course if things are not going well. Number seven, we have resilience. Leadership is fraught with challenges on a daily basis. There will always be people second guessing, undermining and ignoring decisions that are made. Effective leadership requires something between having empathy and having a thick skin. This results in resilience. Without resilience, one's ability to lead effectively will be severely diminished. Number 8. Never passing the buck. If we are or want to be a leader, we must always remember that there is no passing the buck. When final decisions have to be made, they must be made with confidence, clarity and decisiveness. After this, we have importance of student leadership. Student leadership is Arguably, the most beneficial co-curricular activity a person can perform while in college. Though there are no grades and zero credits to earn, 
the experience gained from a leadership role will be a valuable for a lifetime. A college leader is thrown into a learning environment that encourages hands-on experience. As a student leader, planning, decision making, communicating and working with teammates are all those skills which can also be built up. Student leader can have a unique position to make a difference on the campus. This is the moment to think big and to exert the voice from a position of influence. To fulfill an organization's mission, it takes teamwork, hard work and time from its member. That is why it is important to utilize our time, our team and our talent efficiently. Since time is valuable to each member of a group, it is vital to work on increasing personal performance thereby reducing the amount of effort and time spent unpredictably by the group. Obviously, motivation, willingness to contribute and follow through are key to any student's leader's success. However, there is much more to leading a successful student organization. Success is about harnessing group talents, working smarter and communicating often. After this, we have another point that is advantages of educational strategies for student leadership. Some of the advantages of educational strategies for molding student leadership are suggested below. Number one, boosting leadership skills. It is not enough for a student to decide that they want to be a leader. The making of a good leader is not something that is inherited. Students have to work compulsively on their leadership skills. A student should master the fundamental aspects such as communication skills, decision making skills, organizing skills, action planning, strategic thinking, risk management, etc. Now we have number two, team building. One of the main goals of student leadership is team building. Of course, there are classes, groups and friends. They all boost a student's ability to work as a part of a team. Being a part of a team is very important. We have a role to fulfill. Leadership requires more beside the leadership skills we have listed above. A good leader is to be able to see the strengths and weakness of each team member. Moreover, it is important to make the strengths work for the whole team. Number three, bringing a unique experience. It is fact that leaders among students later become leaders at a workplace more often than those who have no prior leadership experience. This is because it is easier for them to take responsibility for other people and they already know how to make a teamwork. Another side of student leadership experience is that it may be harder than leading others after graduation. On the other hand, a student leader has more support from faculty members, but this doesn't mean they will automatically have the support of other students. If student leaders can find a way to be respected by both parties, they will be able to approach corporate life with less fear. Number 4. Inspiring Networking 
team building and student leadership at college or university so students how to build a good relationship as well as natural friendship which is very much spontaneous and unforced leaders get to know a lot of people including teachers faculty and head of students class and organization they have to be able to introduce team members to all these people moreover leaders often delegate some connections to team members which is an advantageous experience too number 5 setting role models as we have mentioned above it is hard for student leaders to get respect by their peers but if they do they become much more important role model for other students than adults generally teenagers do not tend to like adult authority so a leader of their age often becomes an example to follow while the actual age doesn't matter the lack of experience is a real problem however with the help of student leadership this problem can be solved long before young professional start working after this we are coming to the importance of student leadership in education leadership is about the art of motivating influencing and directing people so that they work together to achieve the goal of a team or broader organizations it's important for student to experience leadership opportunities during their schooling to learn the art of building relationship within teams defining identities and achieving tasks effectively it also provide an opportunity to learn to identify and display effective communication and interpersonal skills leadership begins with identifying and understanding our values our values are our fundamental beliefs those principles we consider to be worthwhile and desirable the more leadership is encouraged the more it flourishes the framework of college model of leadership encompasses leadership in action leadership style team culture discipline vision communication problem solving and decision making resolving conflict understanding and managing change so now with the above points we are coming to the conclusion leadership may be defined as position of power held by an individual in a group which provide him with an opportunity to exercise infer personal influence on the group members for mobilizing and directing their efforts towards certain goals good leaders are met not born if the students have the desire and will power then he or she can become an effective leader good leaders develop through a never ending process of self study education training and experience effective leadership is essential for any organization and school to be successful great leaders are always critically analyzing ways in which he or she can improve in order to achieve an array of goals this is especially the case in education where strong and bold leadership is needed during this tumultuous time